What's up, Packers? It's Goldie Blocks, and today's episode's all about dominoes? Yeah, it is. We did an awesome collab with Hevish Five for the International Day of the Girl. She's a domino artist. If you haven't checked out that video, I'll link it down below. We have a lot of leftover dominoes after that, so I decided to make some hacks out of leftover dominoes. And be sure to stick around to see the Hevish Five behind the scenes footage. Okay, it's time to hack your dominoes. And for our first hack, we have oh, a domino clock. It is so cute. This is literally my color scheme, if you can't tell. Definitely it's gonna be more challenging until the time, but you know, sometimes it's just for like room decor because it's everything. I mean, just in general, I'm kind of bad at telling time because I'm super lazy and I just use my phone. But you know what? Sometimes things are just for aesthetic. You know, do it for the aesthetic. Domino clock. I was trying to roll it out of frame, wait. Let's hack it. That was almost really bad. Okay, let's hack it. <laughs> For this hack, you'll need a base, dominoes numbered one through 12, paints, paint brushes, glitter glue, a drill, clock pieces, and a battery. First, drill a hole in the middle of your base. Next, paint it however you like. Then, assemble your clock pieces using the instructions. Finally, arrange your dominoes around the clock and glue them down. What time is it? Oh, it's craft the clock. And for our next hack, we have a domino box. I mean, if you didn't already have enough dominoes, why don't you just make a box of dominoes? You can like hold your dominoes in your domino box, which would be like dominoception. Or, you know, you can just hold your candy because Halloween's right around the corner. So I just put all my, you know, goodies in here. And yes, I did bedazzle them. Because I had to. I mean, if you don't bedazzle your dominoes, what are you doing? Let's hack it. For this DIY, you'll need 50 dominoes, strong crafting glue, adhesive crafting felt, foam sheets, and tape. First, arrange your dominoes in a square. Bond them together by using the crafting glue. Make four more squares, and then let them dry. For a while. <laughs> Once they're dry, put a piece of adhesive crafting felt under one of the squares. This will be the base of the box. Move the bottom edges of the walls to the base, and then hold them steady for a sec. And then let them dry. If you want, you can use tape on the inside to reinforce the box. Now, it's time to make the lid. Arrange the dominoes in this shape, with two propped up in the middle for the handle. Grab that crafting glue again and stick them all together. And let them dry. Cut a couple pieces of foam to stick under the lid so it doesn't wiggle out. Now it's time to goldify. And for our last hack, we have domino earrings. Ah, they look so cute. I feel like a go-go girl. I'm like kind of obsessed. These are DIY dominoes. It's no biggie. They're painted, they're everything, and they're so cute. Let's hack it. For this DIY, I'll need a couple of wooden dominoes, eye screws, earring hooks, and a drill. First, drill a hole onto the top of each domino. Then, screw the eye into the hole. Next, use pliers to widen the earring hook and connect it to the eye screw. The pliers from the Goldie Blocks Craft Essentials Toolkit are perfect for this hack. And voila, an adorable pair of domino earrings. Step aside, Tiffany. Do you guys wanna see how Hevish 5 sets up all of those dominoes? The answer is very carefully. Let's go take a look. When I was nine years old, I set up and knocked down my first line of dominoes. There were only 28 pieces, yet the process of building and toppling them was so exciting to me. I became obsessed with domino art, and eventually it became a lifelong passion. In school, my science and math classes helped me further understand how dominoes work. Through topics like physics, motion, and geometry, I used what I learned in the classroom to help me improve my domino designs. But not all girls have access to classes like that, or any classes. And because of that education gap, progress for girls stops. 
Despite all international and national efforts, over half of children out of school are girls. 31 million girls are still out of school around the world. But together, we can close that gap. We can break down the barriers of stereotypes, illiteracy, and self-doubt. When we make education accessible, we give girls the tools to mold their future in the way that they want it to go. They start to learn what this world is capable of and what they're capable of. So instead of having obligations, girls have opportunities. They can make decisions for themselves and make decisions that change the world for the better. On Day of the Girl, we think about how we can help girls take the next step toward achieving their dreams so we can give girls the tools and confidence to become women who make discoveries in the future, so women can fly a rocket ship into space and settle once and for all if there's life on Mars, or build a solar-powered city with the biggest dance floor in the world, or win the next Nobel Peace Prize in chemistry. No matter where women go next, with education, it's a step in the right direction. Together, let's bridge the gap in curiosity and equality. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the domino hacks and the collab with Hevish 5. And comment down below if you guys know how to play dominoes and what your favorite hack was. Also subscribe and hit that little bell. Go to goldieblocks.com to get your very own maker kits. Goldie Blocks, signing off.